really, really important to learn this. If not, you end up with just this cluster of stems in there, and it just, this is a different, it's called a, the other the technique is it's, it's a grid work, and, and it has its purpose too. But see, you end up with a bigger cluster in the center. It's a little bit harder to work with. So when you're placing your carnations, keep that in mind. You place the first one. You don't have to think about it. Do the same insertion every time. Underneath that last stem. Go between the vase, underneath the last stem. Because you won't be able to see it very well when you get the foliage in. But if you can do one, you can do this, the other six. There you go. And then the four, if you look down in there, you'll see little V's that have formed. The next four will go right down into those V's. And that will help hold them into place. The last one goes right into the middle. I'm going to skip a little bit because you have to see how the, the, the grid work works on this. Now, you can take pieces of tape over and make a grid like this on the base. If, you have, if you're struggling, there's floral tape you can take and create a grid work over the top of the base. Okay, so as you start getting into some classes, you get more floral supplies, you'll be able to do that. You can also take rock and put in the bottom, marbles, there's gel, there's all sorts of things that help hold the stems into place. Today we're gonna to use the basic, which is gonna be the leather fern. If you can hand me a couple pieces of the leather fern, that is bunched up right there. Thank you. Time. Okay, so we'll do this in about four minutes here. Okay, leather fern. I'm just going to put this in. Notice how I'm getting the V's down in the water. We don't, we don't want it up here. Get that V down. We don't want it in the water level, but we don't want it sticking way out here. This has a natural tension to it that will help hold the flowers together in your base. Okay? You can really look at it in the, in the finished bouquet here. If you look up close, there's a little bit of greenery right down to the neck of the bouquet. Don't get it all the way down in. You know, if it's a little bit long right now, that's okay. We'll come back and I don't, leather fern's not my favorite foliage, but it serves its purpose. We can come back in later and pinch these off and give it more of a round shape. So notice I, I just get a little grid work. I might take one or two pieces down here in the middle just to help hold it into place. Okay, pass that back to you. And then the seven. One insertion, turn. Sort of lift the leather fern up, go right underneath that last stem, lift the leather fern up, go underneath. Can everybody see that okay? Lift the leather fern up, go underneath, lift, under. And these were just cut. I would recut those every time, but for expediency, we're Side seven, double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Middle four. Two. Use your tabletop to feel how tall you want those bouquets. So I want them about right there. You can see where the bottom is. That's where I'll cut it. Get rid of some of the foliage. Especially on roses, foliage makes it. A lot easier to poke down in the bouquet. Again, opposites, right down into the Y's to help hold them together. Okay, and last one. Again, really tight to open these up. A little trick. Fluff them open. Doesn't hurt the carnation. And this one, we've already got a good grid work right down in the middle. That's it. Now, when we add the accessory flowers or the filler flowers, I don't like to call them filler flowers. The industry is calling them accessory flowers, accent flowers, because filler flowers, what can I charge more on? Accent flowers or filler flower? Accent. Yeah, because filler sounds pretty cheap. <laughs> and flora, as florists, they don't they think of it as filler, they don't put a value to it. And this isn't free, <laughs> okay? The aster isn't free. So we want to, again, it does accent the bouquet. 
Now, you would just go in, again, same principles. I want you guys to get started on this. The same principles, when I, um, when I start to go in, I won't start at the top. You start adding your accent flower, grab a couple of these. The Monte Casino or Aster. I just did one technique, so I'm not gonna reinvent a new one. Where did I start at last time? Um, top or bottom? Yeah, bottom. So I'm gonna come right in the bottom and do the same thing. Following that same, that same, uh, look at my angle there. Same angle on the spiral. Right in. And then, next step up. I don't have to go seven of them. Next step up, work up into the middle. And then I could add them, the other types of filler, baby's breath or tree fern or what have you. Okay, get the idea? All right, cutting techniques. How many need help with knives? I see lots of grins. Okay, let me, let, me take, let me take just for everybody, since we have a majority here that needs class. Everybody take their knife. How many right-handed, how many left-handed people do we have? Anybody? <laughs> okay, that will help you, show you how to cut. And, and again, I also instruct martial arts, so you'll have sort of fun. Uh, you don't cut with your fingers. Watch, everybody, hold your knife in your right hand, just, just in your fingers, just like this, four fingers. Notice the blade is up into my pointer finger, okay? It's nice and relaxed. This is what you adjust the angle of the blade with. 